One new notification. From Amazon Shopping. G7X Mark II has arrived. Okay, well here's a, here's a dilemma. This here is the camera I vlog every day with. Every day, this is what I carry around. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I carry just this around, but most of the time, most of the time it's this. And the issue with this is some places don't allow you to bring in a big camera like this because you think you're a professional, which I am, but they don't know that. Um, so I have to find a way around that. The iPhone is good, but then it's hard to transfer the footage. So I stole this tech, I, I, I mean, I didn't steal it. A lot of vloggers do it. So I'm just finally coming around to doing it. So I went out and I got the Canon point and shoot, the one that looks like this. Uh, so this is what I got. Um, this is just easy to put in your pocket, so like when I'm in an event or something and don't allow the big camera in or detachable lenses. I have this little guy. I don't think it's going to be used a lot. I don't think it's going to be used much, but it's good just to have lying around. There's an issue with it though. See all that branding? Got to fix that. Okay, so here's what I have to do. I have to get rid of all this branding. So I'm going to first gaff tape. So I'm going to try to first cover the Canon logo and I'm just gonna rip it and guesstimate for a little bit. There we go. Canon logo solved. Okay, so now the next one I have to do is the GX7 logo. I'm thinking to do it with the excess of this. GX7 logo solved. Now the only other thing I have to figure out is this branding here I don't like around here. So, that's where this pen comes in. And, I'm just gonna get rid of it. All right, now that branding is solved. Uh, I don't see anything else. The only thing I have to do is know which one's the power switch. So my silver sharpie comes in play, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a dot on the, on the, the button there. Okay, so that's great, and all I got that done. The only issue is the mic and wind. So I bought these little windscreen dead cat things. I figured out an issue though. I was just gonna super glue this thing right on. The issue is it now will just cover the screen, and I don't like that idea. So I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of surgery on this. To get it to fit. Okay, so got my cutting board. Hopefully this thing cuts. Aha! So I think if I just super glue that like that, I think if I super glue it like this, it's out of my way enough where it's not it's not the whole thing. Okay, I think I can do it. Super glue, I forgot. I got bad news. I think I'm out of super glue. Perfect. Gotta grab a smoothie. Thank you. You too. Got the smoothie, back to the office. Time to finish up the, uh, the, the camera modifications. All right, I'm back with the, uh, back with the crazy glue. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, I really hope this doesn't fuck up the audio. So I just have to find a way to... Alrighty. I really hope... This doesn't fuck anything up. Well, it's uh, it's on there. I uh, I hope this is okay. A big bonus of the camera is that uh, 
fits right in my back pocket, which is easy to bring into those events where it's hard to bring this in. I can bring this in. All right, let's try the, the wind setup. Situ so this here's the regular cam. Sorry. This here's the regular camera I use. This is the Canon 80D uh, with the uh, road mic on it. The one I use every day. This is what it looks like, as you know, and this is what it sounds like, as you know. And uh, and then this here, well, this is the new Canon. This is my point and shoot that I'll be using for some of the uh, for some of those events. Again, that's hard to get into. I don't know how it sounds. This is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. I think that the uh, well, it's going either one or two ways. One way is it sounds like crap. You can barely hear me. And that the uh, the screen on top, I have the screen flipped out. The screen on top is uh, pushing the wind down to the mic. So it just sounds like whoosh, and you can't hear what I'm saying. Or it actually sounds not that bad. And you can hear exactly what I'm saying. And that the screen is kind of blocking all the uh, all the wind and stuff from getting into the mic. So it's, so it's going, going either one of two ways. So, uh, yeah. And now I'm back on the ADD. This just feels like home to me. Like this right here, with the setup, the weight of the setup, the look of the setup, the feel of the, this feels like home. The point and shoot, I gotta get used to. That feels like a vacation. Best way to put it. It's nice, it's not the nicest. But it's meant to just temporarily, throughout my day, replace this. Did the wind, did that work? I don't, I don't know if that even worked. All right, I had lunch. I uh, gotta play around a little bit more with the, where did, where did it go? I gotta play around more with this camera. So what I wanna do is, I, I think I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I wanna mount it, like right here, make a little shelf for it and mount it, and then have the charger come up on the wall and mount the charger right here. Basically make a whole like station for it um, right there. I. So I want to get that done today. I like at least get one project done in one like so I don't have to do it. To, anyways, I'm gonna try to get that done. There's something else I needed. I know it seems like that my two favorite spots to go hang out in are our Home Depot and Chipotle. They're not, but uh, I do come here a lot. I've noticed, but I'm also trying to like update the studio. So I think that's the. Anyways. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of wood. I just need a small little piece. Oh, minimum of 12 inches. There's no like scrap wood. Um, so basically, they uh, they can't cut anything less than a foot by a foot which is way, I don't need that. And I don't want to buy a saw. I think it's down here. I don't want to buy a saw for what I need. I just need, I just need this thing cut. Okay, now it's time to mount, mount these things. All right. I got them up. It's not perfect, but it works, which is good. They were just all set on top of here, and now they're all here. And I know I don't have a drill. <sighs> it's a workout doing that. Okay, well I got the uh, got the camera mounted. I just actually just used the box, and I think it I think it looks all right. So I need to go out and grab a, another extension cord for the battery that's going to sit right. Well. I marked all the batteries, by the way. It's gonna sit like right here about. So once I got that, it's done. And by the way, I feel... So once I grab that extension cord, we're done. And by the way, I feel like this is a weekly occurrence, but it's a mess in here again, so... <sighs> gotta clean that up. Alrighty, got what I needed. I got the extension cord. I also got zip ties, because sometimes, well, well. So the reason I got the zip ties, is for this fat thing so it can actually sit on the wall properly. Uh, hopefully I could, uh, and the zip ties didn't come in handy, uh, but my little uh, hook things totally did. Perfect. 
It's up there. Oh, that's, um, that's just awesome. All right, we're all set. And I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I'll, I'll probably use this more in tomorrow's episode. Um, just to get used to using it. And then I probably won't use it for a while after that. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Coolest damn kids on the street. You and me, we can kick it all weekend. Baby, no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would f me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap, so fancy. And every time you leave.